Hello friends, welcome back to another how-to guide here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's guide, we're going to be showing you how to get all of the starters from generations 1 to 4 in Pokemon's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay, we are hopping over into game and I'm going to show you exactly how you can get all of the generation one to four starters in Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl. So what you want to be doing first off is heading over to the flight area it is this upper area in the top right hand corner of your map. You're going to need to access this after the post game so you're going to have to have complete the elite four before you actually can access this area you visit snow point after you've completed the elite four uh, there'll be a sailor there in the docks he'll bring you over to the fight area which is where we are in the map you're also going to need to have access to your explorer kit now this can be obtained from eterna city here you just visit the uh, underground man's house which is exactly to the right of the pokemon center if uh, you are in that city so we are here at the flight area area or the fight area the flight area and um, what you want to do is just anywhere in this area just use your explorer kit and this will take you to the underground and this is where we're going to be able to explore because this has got I feel this area has the best kind of spots nearest to each other and I will just show you this on the underground map so this is where we are right now in the top right hand corner it is highlighted green and you can see there is a, a red area a uh, blue area and a green area. Now they are all correlating to fire types, the blue with water types and the green with grass types. So these are the three and this is why this area is uh, is chosen because it's the best area where you've got a lot of these different areas kind of close to each other, the fire, water, grass, and you can go in between them and get everything that you need in one different area. So what we'll do is we'll head down to the blue area first. And what you want to be doing when you come into these rooms is you want to just be checking for um, the starter Pokemon. See here we've got Piplup. If there was no Piplup or any of the other starters or the Pokemon that you're hunting in this room, you just exit the room and this resets what the spawns are in that particular area. And then you want to just head back in and then a new set of spawns will be populated. So you can come back in. Here we've got Dugon. Um, Dugon's a bit annoying because it will chase us. So you want to try and get past to see what else is in here. Farfetch'd, Gavite, set. So no starter Pokemon, no Piplup this time. So you want to just exit the room and then come back into it once again and then see what has spawned and you want to just repeat this process over and over until you are able to get all of the starter Pokemon. All of the water starters are actually available in this particular cavern. Um, you've got Squirtle, Tortodile, Piplup and Mudkip. They're all available to catch and I'll show you examples of me catching these uh, as we talk through this guide because this is the beauty about um, actually these dens and the underground in particular for catching Pokemon. They're great resources to actually use and it's so easy to reset what Pokemon are inside them and you can manipulate them in, in different ways which we'll cover in a different video um, by having statues and shiny statues in your home base. As you see again you know it might take a little while coming backwards and forwards into these rooms just to check what I, what's actually inside but at the same time it's not a, a really big process where you're going to have to it's going to take ages for you to find these Pokemon and then catch them. Right so that is the water cavern what we want to do now is head up to the grass cavern you can see where it is here on your map and if you haven't explored this area before and um, to activate the the color of the the rooms what you'll need to do is just visit them and then that will populate it and mark it off as you've been visited it and it'll show on the map so this is the grassland cave so you can come in here again this is a little bit bigger than the the water cavern but uh, again just be careful when you're running about with Pokemon spotting you um, because they will chase you down and if you want to do this in a kind of timely manner it can slow you down a little bit so you want to just like like we said with the water one just exit the cavern come back into it all the grass types are available in this cavern system so you're going to be able to get Bulbasaur you're going to be able to get Trico Chikorita and Turtwig so you'll be able to catch all of those and I'll show those on screen with me and counting them in this cave system so it doesn't take too long like I say but the grass types did definitely take me a little bit longer so we'll exit the grass cavern and uh, we'll head over to our final location which is the fire cave actually we've uh, taken a wrong turn here and sometimes the cave systems will lead to other areas in the underground so you have to take a specific way to 
get to certain caverns and the biggest cavern in this area is the fire cavern so we'll just make our way across to this one and in this fire cavern you're going to be able to get as i say all of the fire starters you're going to get from generations one to four which is charmander cyndaquil you're going to be able to get chimchar again so even if you chose chimchar as your starting pokemon you are going to be get, able to get it again and then torchic as well to make up the four starters so you want to just head into this cavern first because we need to go through this area and i'm just showing you the way to these caverns in case you haven't got them highlighted on your map and it is easier that way for you then to um to get to these caverns and then you know where they are and you can hunt till your heart's content um and you know you're going to be able to shiny hunt in these caverns as well so shiny hunting the starters this is probably a better method to do it than resetting uh, for a starter at the beginning of the game because that is quite time consuming so if you can just play through to the the post game access these areas and then you can kind of come in and uh, you'll be able to hunt around for the starter pokemon now the starters normally um i found in the 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 fire cavern they normally hang around at the at the entrances to to the caverns but uh, we haven't got any in this one this time so we'll go back in and we'll see if we can just find ourselves one of the starters scroopy uh, i'm not even going to chance that because i know i'll run into it so sometimes it's better off if you want to just save a little bit of time just to exit and enter and then get that respawn crop of pokemon so you can get by but like I say, all the starters are available in this specific cavern. If you just have the patience and then enter the room and then exit the room to reset the spawns like you've done with the water and the grass types that we've already covered in this guide, then you are inevitably going to come across them. So uh, as you can see here on the screen, we are covering the Cyndaquil, the Chimchar, the Charmander that we have encountered and then Torchic as well, which seemed a little bit more difficult to spawn, but it did find pop up and out of the, all the spawns here i think i don't know if there are uh, spawn rates yet but the torchic definitely seemed the more unlikely one to uh, to get also another interesting thing about capturing the starter pokemon and any pokemon really in the ground underground is they're going to have access to certain egg moves um you can see here that charmander has flare blitz you've got a uh, sludge on bulbasaur you've got aurora sphere on bulbasaur you've got quick guard on this chimchar burn up crush claw on the Cyndaquil, uh, Night Slash on the Trico, you've got Fake Tears on the Totodile. Normally it's in this top spot where the egg move is. Um, curse on the Torchic there, obviously Ingrain on Chikorita and then Mudset. The only thing that I would say about these Pokemon is that, that none of them actually have their hidden abilities. So uh, they all have their regular abilities. Nothing so far that I've caught, and I've caught a bunch of them, uh, have access to those hidden abilities so whether or not that is something that is accessible in certain circumstances in the underground is something that i'm not too sure on yet but as soon as we do find out that information i will definitely let you know friends i hope you found it useful uh, the start of pokemon and having access to them in the game especially post game very early on in the post game is a really great addition to brilliant diamond and shining pearl and this game is just full of goodies like this so i hope if you do go after these pokemon you have an easy time getting them and uh, you found this guy useful for how to obtain the starter pokemon and then maybe populate them the other thing to note as well is that they will be a higher level because obviously in the underground everything level is kind of related to what you've done in game so they'll be at a higher level so you'll be able to get that final evolution if you want them very quickly and obviously as well you're going to be able to breed them and things like that so there will be a breeding guide coming out on the channel to show you how to breed perfect pokemon the best and easiest way possible in brilliant diamond shining pearl because a lot of you will be playing competitive in the this game um, and I definitely am planning on doing it so being able to have that kind of these Pokemon to catch and then to be able to breed in game is quite important for getting those natures IVs and uh, abilities etc so thank you so much for tuning in friends hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, if you found this guide useful definitely consider dropping a like on the video and definitely subscribe to the channel if you do and you want to see more of this content as well and uh, I'll see you all for another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye